Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty rough news going on as of now, where people are pretty much upset when it comes to PlayStation. Now, typically for me, I kind of try my best to be a little bit on both the PlayStation and Xbox side, where if they mess up, I want to talk about it. If they do good, I want to talk about it. And this is kind of one of those kind of double whammies, where both PlayStation and Xbox have all well decided to go and raise prices. And a lot of folks, I think nowadays, and you guys can chime in your thoughts, because I feel the same way myself, so if you guys agree, uh, a lot of things are just costing a lot lot more money, and it seems like a lot of companies are just assuming that people have more money than most people think. PlayStation has now confirmed some really bad news that they are going to be raising up the price points for most of the PlayStation packages, and this is also right in the wake of Xbox, number one, removing their $1 free trial for Starfield and all those other various Game Pass deals, and as well also raising the general price of Game Pass on top of that. So we're kind of seeing these really big gaming companies uh, just raising prices, and it's not happening. We're going to talk about this, and I want to hear your thoughts. We've also been seeing this happen a lot more for things like Amazon, Twitch Turbo, if you guys are a part of the Twitch squad, or anything else out there too, things like Spotify, Netflix, and you know, everything, like Prime. And it kind of just stinks because I understand inflation, but... Well, it hurts. Like, the wallet hurts, man. The wallet hurts. So we have a lot of stuff to go talk about, and I'm just, we'll go talk about it. As well, I had a, quite a few people already go give me nice little happy birthday wishes. It is technically my birthday. We'll be doing some fun stuff up on Twitch, either today and I think on the weekend. So for some reason, you guys don't follow up the Twitch stream. Go and swing on by or follow the Twitter. I'll tweet out when I go live and all that, if you want to, down below. So, first and foremost, this is a kind of rough news. So if you guys have missed it, uh, yeah, it's not fun. We're based on the PlayStation Plus, both the Essential, so the main core one that everyone has, the extra and the premium are all being increased in price. And yeah, like, I mean, there's nothing else I could really say about that besides that, how much that sucks, because I kind of felt like the price point was pretty perfect. They also had a chance to adjust up the pricing points as well, because don't forget the P PlayStation Plus, like these brand new tiers and things, are relatively really new. Now, this is, like, not the, it hasn't been around for that, that long, maybe, like, a year or so, if even that, and it kind of stinks because I do enjoy the idea of multiple tiered options, but a lot of folks are also skeptical, thinking of, is it even worth the money, uh, what options have they increased or made the services better to make it more worthwhile, this money, they're saying a new streaming thing, which might maybe understand why they maybe increase the price up to, too, but... Like, it just kind of stinks. So, um, let me just go through the price points first and foremost, where Sony has revealed, first and foremost, the PlayStation Plus drops. We'll go in a second. And then it's also increasing the price of all three PS Plus tiers from the Essential, the Extra, and the Premium. And this will be ongoing as of the 6th of September. So, I'm going to give you guys a reminder video in the next few days in case you guys see that in your sub boxes to either maybe update or prepay. Because sometimes it is like, sometimes people are okay paying like the extra year or so if they know they're going to be playing it and then maybe renewing it or spending money on that maybe on like the fourth or fifth because after it hits the sixth you're gonna be losing all of this money so you guys might see another video i made just kind of like i said remind you guys on that one but uh yeah this is rough so the firm says that this is being done to enable us to continue bringing high quality games and value added benefits to your playstation plus subscription service and i think that line right there is if they actually were improving the system and the process a lot and they were maybe doing even stuff like say game pass where they were throwing in a lot of maybe even like triple a first party games that are not even xbox games i can maybe see it like in my mind if xbox rose the price of game pass to include things like call of duty you know same the activision deal i would have been okay with that like i would i'd get it like it'd save me an extra 60 bucks 70 bucks a year to spend an extra let's say three four five bucks a month and my like okay let's say it goes up five bucks and call of duty 60 bucks like at that point like that pay if you had it for the entire year it still pays for it, it's fine like i'm okay with that trade-off playstation is still a nice service like i still don't mind it but a lot of the times the playstation plus essential games aren't really worth the extra additional money or they're games i don't usually check out or i would have already bought a while ago i mean some people like it too if you do there's nothing wrong with that sometimes just bonus stuff it's always nice but i don't really feel like they're going to be having a huge massive added bonus for 20 dollars. like 20 dollars is a big jump going from 60 to 80 dollars and i think that's where some folks are getting upset and of course, I want to hear your honest thoughts down below, as long as you're always respectful, because I just don't think this is cool. Like, if you want to, like, I, I don't mind subtle. Like, I'll give Xbox some credit here. It stinks that they had to raise their prices, sure, but they only went up, I think, like, a dollar. Like, a dollar is not the world's worst deal for something like Game Pass, and in theory, like, it's just nice. Like, I'm okay. Game Pass has been relatively good in terms of I, whether I want to keep it or renew it or whatever. Like, it's not bad. PlayStation Plus Essential, though, going from 50 or $60 to now $80 is a $20 price increase. That is a lot of money for an entire year, and let alone the individual month by month, which is a little bit on the more expensive side because dots month to month. Or if you look at the PlayStation Extra, it goes up another $35. 
that is ridiculous. I would almost want to say at this current price point as well, again, 99 is even too much. This is for the entire year, though, but still. And if you look at the PlayStation Plus Premium is going up, I believe it looks like a $40 price tag. So 20, 35, and 40. Like, that is insane to me to go and see this. This is, like, way too much, and I'm not really sure what kind of corporate boardroom was thinking this is a good idea. Because I hope people, like, remember. Like, the economy is, quote-unquote, doing okay, I guess, but there's a lot of folks that are definitely, like, having to go and pinch, pinch their pennies a little bit more, and not in a bad way. Like, people have to worry about increasing prices in, well, gas, increasing prices in food, increasing prices in rent, and, of course, not many offs, like, the usual stuff, not many salaries have usually been increased, and promotions are scarce, and even the stock market 401ks have been a little teeter-tottering as of right now, as we're kind of in a bear market. So it's just, like, a scary situation. Because I don't mind. I, I don't mind if you have to raise the price a little bit, if it's justifiable. Xbox did it. But going for a $20 price increase is ridiculous to me. And they even say Sony makes absolutely no mention of any new benefits. Like, if there was, like, a bunch of new features, I'd be cool with that. There was, in theory, like, the brand new streaming, which they also had to go and confirm buy new data centers for that. I can maybe see them trying to go and re-justify that price point, maybe. But even then, like, this just seems really, really expensive for kind of no reason. Like, this is an unexpected jump. And this kind of makes me want to go and question if I just want to even keep my PlayStation Plus on auto renewal. Because, I mean, I'll play it. I like my PlayStation. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of times, I'm like, well, if I'm only playing a few hours, is it really worth the money? Because I'm more of a PC guy. I'm sure you guys know that. So you guys watch me on Twitch. Like I'm definitely like a PC guy myself. Uh, but it makes me sad because I like the PlayStation. I want to have my PlayStation, my casual console. I want to go whenever I'm off my PC and I want to watch and do something or play some games super casually in my bed or whatever it might be. I want to have my PlayStation there. I want to enjoy it. And seeing an extra $20 a month is ridiculous in my mind. So Sony makes absolutely no mention of any benefits or features. And that's just what makes me sad. And we've been seeing some of the posts too as well, if you guys want to see it, where it's like, hey, We'll see some Black Friday deals showing up, too, as well, and then we probably will. Like we've usually kind of seen these general companies throw in, like, hey, you get, like, 50% off, for first time you do a longer subscription, or whatever it might be. Like, that it makes sense. Like, I'm okay with that. But, like, dude, the people are just, like, done. They're like, hey, like, why? Like, why does both Xbox and PlayStation have to put multiplayer behind a paywall? I mean, I get why they make money off it, duh, but at the same time, I'm kind of agreed. Like, why do you have to remove all like why you have to make it so much higher why do you have to go and do all this type of stuff it stinks and like people are going to be upset now some people are just going to say whatever they're going to go and bump up their plans they're going to try to do what they can and they want to reactivate it and then like spend save the extra money because you can save money as of right this second like that's cool but it stinks because right now it's been trending and you guys can even see up in the twitter feeds a lot of folks folks are upset a lot of folks are unhappy a lot of folks are like why do we have to go and do this in the first place too or something like this like placing a free game multiplayer behind a paywall is worse like from like say from bungees where it's like hey upgrades required with playstation you need to go and basically have your playstation plus to be engaged and all this type of stuff or doing stuff like having the dlcs etc so you see all this and people are just not happy in these situations people have to spend all this extra money and obviously people aren't not happy People don't want to roll with this. People don't want to do this. People don't want to spend more money on top of even other places like Xbox raising more money. Now, if they would have did, like I said, a smaller price increase for 5 bucks, 10 bucks, maybe even then, but $20 up to $40 for the same exact package that people have had. And this doesn't also include like any crazy games like Starfield. Like, that's coming out on Game Pass. I can understand they want to increase this. We have Spider-Man, sure, but that doesn't have anything to do with PlayStation Plus. If you had all these, like, different types of games over here, like, we're getting Saints Row, Generation Zero, and Black Desert. Like, these are not bad. Like, these are a nice bonus. But I don't want to spend an extra $20 a year just to go and get some, like, Saints Row, which didn't really play well. It was kind of a very mediocre game. And most people are probably going to care about it. Like, people didn't really want to buy the game when it first came out. Why are people going to be excited for PS Plus? I thought it was good enough to go check out for PS Plus. You guys want to creep on it, sure. Or something like Generation Zero. It was, like, an okay game. I think I even did a sponsor for that game, funny enough, on my Twitch stream. But, like, it's okay. Like, it's all right. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing special. It's nothing that big. It's just... Okay, or same with Black Desert, like, bro, like, you know how many times I've seen the game go on sale? Over here, it's a cool game, I played on PC, my character is Cat Girls, like, Cat Girl Ears, it's cute, I don't know, I, I was like, why not? I had a few nice, like, hours and stints into grinding it and playing it, it was a fun MMO experience, but with all this, like, this is not worth the extra $20 lineup, and it makes me really, really sad. I don't know. Like, I just think companies are getting a little bit out of like, touch, and they're not realizing how much, like, people, like, the common people who have these services hurt. Like, $20 sure might help you on the bottom line, but this makes me kind of feel icky when it comes to PlayStation as a whole. So I want to hear your thoughts and comments on all of this. There is also technically a brand new uh, thing going on for my birthday. Let's go. 
Oh, we did put this nice little double discount in case you guys do want to check out any of these games up on the list. Nothing super crazy, all the usuals as well. And last but not least, some people just kind of people are upset anyway at PlayStation. Some folks are basically kind of critiquing now that this, um, you know, some people like the Gran Turismo game. A lot of folks are actually critiquing on how much they didn't really like the idea of this movie because it seems like they were very out of touch and kind of gross and just seemed like a really big product placement for Sony and PlayStation instead of anything else. So a lot of folks are going to kind of vibe in the PlayStation vibe. I myself am not either because that extra price point is ridiculous and I think it's a little bit too much. So I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Make sure you guys are respectful as always. And I'm going to have a hopefully a fantastic birthday. Thank you guys for being a part of my life and spending time with me as well. You guys are all awesome. So thank you guys. I'll have, uh, make sure you guys are subbed, Twitter and Twitch down below if you guys want to do any birthday festivities. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place.